green and sustainable technologies such as solar power and biomass could contribute about 4% to the country's GDP by year 2020 if the industry is focused and continually expanding its base. Pusat Tenaga Malaysia, PTM's national project leader, Engineer Ahmad Hadri Harris, says that within the period of two and a half years, since 2007, Malaysia has managed to gather foreign direct investments, or FDIs, relating to green technology amounting to between 12 to 14 billion ringgit. Four international companies, First Solar and Sun Power from the US, Q Cells from Germany and Tokuyama from Japan, have set up their base in Malaysia. Two of the companies have already started operation. That's a lot for one sector only. Don't forget, eh, by, by having this company in Malaysia, it also creates economy in, in Malaysia. Our businessmen can also do business with them, can supply the raw materials, can supply uh, equipment, facilities and things like that, so it creates new businesses. Speaking to reporters after a roundtable session, team is the green technology coming, Hadri, one of the panellists, says currently the use of green technology in Malaysia is still too small, explaining that roughly only 100 buildings are using solar technology compared to the millions of buildings which have yet to adopt the technology in the country. So to, to change this, that's why feed-in tariff is important. And this can only be implemented when we have this renewable energy law, which uh, the Ministry of Energy, Green Technology and Water is actually looking into it today. He adds that Malaysia has the potential to be a solar manufacturing hub to fulfill worldwide demand as the country has the right infrastructure, an established semiconductor industry, knowledge and skilled workers. Malaysia has the potential to become a hub for solar manufacturing. Not, don't worry so much about whether we have a market or not because the market is worldwide. There's a huge demand in Europe, in US, in Japan and China for this technology. Hadri says with full operation from the four companies, it could create some 10,000 high-level jobs. Malaysia is the number two solar technology manufacturer in the world behind China. In the roundtable session itself, the eight panelists from a diverse range of stakeholders came to an agreement that the reason to why the implementation of green technology is slow pace is due to the high costs. Hadri says that PTM have suggested to the government to encourage fiscal incentives for the adoption of green technology, such as tax deduction, tax exemption and offset incomes, instead of giving out cash which can be associated with the subsidy mentality.